Good day and welcome. You're currently looking at the integral number 13 in Jim Coronis's 100 integrals list. And this is the one we're going to uh, evaluate in this particular video. You notice we have a fraction, we have a quadratic and a linear function. And because this is uh, order less than this, we're expecting a logarithmic function as part of our answer at least. I also notice that this is not factorizable. If it was x squared plus 3x plus 2 it would be, but in this form it's not factorizable with real numbers. Therefore we're not going to be able to split it up to, part in, to form partial fractions. So our solution would be something like this. I'm not going to change the denominator for the moment, but I do notice that the derivative of x squared plus 2x is 2x plus 2. I have a 2x here, so I'm going to write 2x plus 2. That's what I would like, but I'm going to have to subtract 3 in order to maintain that negative 1. So all I've done really is split the negative 1 up into 2 minus 3. I now separate the integral into this fraction minus this one. And rather than just copy out the quadratic, because I've got a constant on the top and a quadratic on the bottom, I'm going to try to, or I, I can succeed here, I'm going to complete the square, anticipating an inverse trigonometric function. Notice x squared plus 2x, that's easy to complete. Uh, x, I'm thinking ahead of myself here. x plus 1, all squared, is x squared plus 2x plus 1, so we need an extra 2. And this is very much the structure of a that gives us an inverse trig function where we have 1 over something squared plus something squared. This of course, since this is now the exact derivative of that, just gives us a logarithmic function. And since I know that cannot take a negative value, after all we have, by completing the square, seen that it's a perfect square plus 2, there's no need for absolute value signs minus 3, the trig, inverse trig function that comes from this is inverse tan of this divided by the square root of this with the square root out the front. That's it. There's no real simplification to take place here. Um, I was going to show you an alternative way of doing this, it crossed my mind as we were going through, but I think that would just lengthen the video unduly. For the moment, let's leave it at that. This is integral number 13 completed, and I hope you perhaps in, in learned something or enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, then please click the like button and leave a comment, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.